Yo, what's going on guys? I'm all guy here and today I'm doing a quick tutorial on trying to solve an issue that's been happening to most console players recently. So there's this issue where people cannot join their friends or it's hard for them to find any multiplayer lobbies. Say, unable to join session, cannot find lobbies. But here's a quick and easy fix that you can do which would change your NAT type to open and basically have you, have you a faster and better connection and even be able to join basically all your friends lobbies so what this does is um, it will change your NAT type which is good so in the bottom right this I'm using COD as an example but this will work for all games um, you just need specifically COD to check your port so as you can see in the bottom right it shows your NAT type it says moderate when your NAT type is moderate or strict it's harder for you to find lobbies you have a decent and if it's strict a worse connection and most and sometimes you can't join your friends so by changing your NAT type to open this will allow you to have best connection as possible and allow you to join all lobbies so you're gonna wanna go do on COD hit um, your button to go to the menu go all the way to options and go to network so you're gonna see um, NAT type right here and it says about the NAT type in the third paragraph it says the game tried to use UDP port 3074 to open the required port for an open NAT in game. So when you're in this menu, you're going to remember your port number. In this case, for all PS4s, it is 3074. For you Xbox viewers, users, I'm pretty sure it's 3075, but you have to check your NAT to see. And for PC, just do the same thing and you'll remember your port. So what this method does, it will open up your thing and it will make sure this port number will always work, giving you a better connection. But to do this, you must have to log on to your router and log on to your router settings and port forward. Um, so I will quickly guide you guys through that and I'll see you guys on the PC. Okay guys, and we're on the PC now. So. As I said before, you're going to need to log on to your router to check each and every setting that you have for your modem or router, depending. So in the description down below, I'm going to leave you a link called Port Forwarding, which will, um, depending on your router company or whatever company you use for internet, it will guide you on how to do what I'm doing now. So... Um, if you guys don't know how to log in to your router, what you guys are going to want to do is at the back of your router, you're going to see a website and you're going to want to go there and it will have a deset deset default username and passcode. Most of the time the default user is admin, passcode's admin too. Sometimes the user's admin and the passcode's password, but you just have to check whatever it says on the back of your router. So for my case, what you're going to do is enter your IP address inside your search bar and it will load up to your thing. So as you guys can see, um, mine is using Bell and you're going to, it's going to look for sure if you're not using Bell, it's going to look completely different for you, but I'll leave you the link down below, which will give you a detailed guide on every, most of the internet companies to show you how you can um, how you can do it on yours but this is how you do for Bell but for each one it will be similar it's just gonna be slightly different with the interface so what you guys want to do is hit advanced view and make sure you see everything advanced you're gonna wanna scroll down and you're gonna wanna go to modem network settings so then as I said before just enter your um, code which could be admin or password and just hit login because this allows you to change your settings. So um, I don't want this. So yeah. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna see a thing called port forwarding as I highlight right now, and you're just gonna go ahead and click on it. Take a while to load, and boom, it's here. So name here. I'm just gonna name it. Um, you're gonna create rule, and I'm here, and I'm just gonna quickly name it COD because this is for our COD boot three NAT. But just name it whatever. You can call it NAT NAT type open but for this case I'm just gonna call it COD doesn't matter on your name so uh, remember before I said um, you you wanna remember your port number well this is where well, this is where it comes in so 
See how I remember my port number for PS4s is 3074. So after I'm going to want to do is for intro and put in 3074. And nothing for the second one. And for external put 3074. And nothing for the second one too. So for protocol or type it would say for you guys. You want to click it and you're going to want to type in UDP. This is only going to work if it's going to say UDP. Not both, not TCP, just put UDP and it would guarantee work. So, and then to make sure that this goes to a specific device, I just want it to my PS4 because that's my only gaming. Um, it, on your network, whatever's connected, you're going to see a lot of devices that have ever connected to your internet. And you're going to want to choose your PS4. So it might be hard to tell, but I checked in my menu that my PS4 is the only unknown one that's connected right now. So I click that, or which is unknown device 17 for me. If you guys um, don't know which device yours is, you can find the static IP address. You can search it up on Google, and on the port forwarding site, it will tell you how to find static IP for your um, PS4 or Xbox consoles. You can enter that in, or in my case, since I know the device, I'll put it there. And make sure it's UDP. So you're going to go ahead and I'll hit save, and it says your change is being saved, settings were saved, close, refresh your page to make sure it's there, and then, boom, COD, make sure the status is enabled or on, and it's going to say protocol, UDP, internal port 74, external port 3074, and yeah. So then you're just going to go ahead and log out of your modem and X that out. And now we're going to go ahead and check our PS4 and COD Bo3, check it out. Um, if your Bo3 still says moderate or strict, you're going to want to go to your, um, you're going to want to go back to your um, modem and you need to unplug it for 30, 30 seconds and plug it back in. Or um, turn off your PS4 and turn it back on. So we'll see you guys on the PS4. Guys, and we're back. We just closed our Bo3 and reopened it. And I will show you. And it should not type be open. Remember, if it's not open, just unplug your router for 30 seconds, plug it back in. Um, or reset your PS3 for 30 seconds and turn it back on. But for me, I just simply refresh COD Bo3 and our NAT should be open. So just wait here. Hit um, connect to online. And you guys see, boom, top, bottom, left. You see NAT type open, go back to your network. And boom, NAT type open. Most desirable NAT type for playing online Call of Duty Black Ops 3. So you guys can see it worked 100%. We changed our NAT type from moderate to open. This allows us to join our friends, find faster lobbies, and all that stuff. Um, so hope you guys enjoyed this quick tutorial. Now you can join your friends and find better lobbies. So hope you guys enjoyed that video. If you have any questions regarding how to do this, if if you are mixed up, just comment them down below and I'll feel free to help you with any of your problems. So thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to drop a like if this worked for you and subscribe to stay updated with the rest of my tutorials and videos. And I'll see you guys later. Peace out.